Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're going to compare a torque control tightening with a torque plus angle process. And we're going to measure the clamping force with this ultrasonic system. So let's start off with a torque control process to 114 Newton meters and tighten a group of bolts and see what kind of consistency of clamp load that we get. Okay, here we go. five samples at the baseline torque with 114 newton meters. We took a look at the data and we got just over 11,000 pounds of average clamping force, but the range was over 3,000 pounds. So we saw quite a bit of variation in the amount of clamping force, even at a perfect amount of applied torque. So what we did is develop a torque plus angle tightening strategy that's hopefully going to tighten up that distribution of clamp load. Let's see if it works. All right, so we got a much better result with torque plus angle as a tightening strategy. The first thing we did as a baseline was run 114 Newton meters, and we were at 11,000 pounds of clamping force, but the range was over 3,000 pounds. We developed a torque plus angle strategy of 30 Newton meters plus 90 degrees of turn, and we got a higher clamping force. We went from 11,000 to 14,000, and our range went from 3,000 down to under 1,000 pounds. So we have a much higher level of clamping force and a much more consistent amount of clamping force. So what does all this mean? If you want a high amount of clamp load and a consistent amount of clamp load, torque plus angle is the way to go. We'll see you next time.